Hello everybody. A very good afternoon to everyone. I hope it's the voice that, problem. Yeah. Um, just a minute. Yeah. Speak. Now, because yeah, I think there is some video issue. Just give me one minute time. I'm sorry for this. Today's session is basically for the stiffness modification factor. What is basically stiffness modification factor? So during the event of earthquake, you will see that a lot of, uh, uh, you know, the, uh, the ground moments will happen within a very fraction of a sec a second. So during that time, whatever the deflections and drifts that, that are happening, the stresses are coming because of the horizontal earthquake forces so those forces are not good for the structure okay so it has to uh, the structure has to make uh, uh, in such a way that uh, you know it should resist all the modal forces so what are the uh, criteria is basically are there regarding the stiffness modification factor and why do we crack it we need to crack it only because during the event of earthquake whenever such a huge amount of deflections are happening lateral deflections are happening it is assumed that certain elements will get cracked okay so that we make sure that even if those are getting cracked actually the buildings are is, is it i mean the safety and stability of the structure is it getting jeopardized is it uh, you know the building is intact uh, all the elements the key elements the column shear walls all the uh, main frame beams is it intact is it is the building livable such kind of things or maybe there should not be any sudden collapse of the structure that should happen during the event of earthquake so such kind of things actually we make sure that uh, you know those are getting um, checked and based on that we um, give certain parameters and we make sure that you know those are getting resolved okay so i'll just start with the this thing just i think there is some technical glitch i'll just repair that i think what are the stiffness modification factors are there and uh, as a structural engineer when are you going to use it and uh, what is the consequence of all the structural uh, stiffness modification factor so let's get started in that so stiffness modification factor you can note down few things actually if you want it is based on IS 16700 2017 table number 6 Okay, so as per the table, what we do is, these are the stiffness modification factors up there. I'll just open the code also for you guys, after some time. But uh, these are the clauses. Just a minute, I'll show you the code right now only.
okay so we'll just go to is1893 first this is the first code okay somehow actually as per the is1893 it, it was not mentioned profoundly somewhere actually they have just you know scrubbled something actually and they said that okay you should use this that was not actually proper to be very honest of representation according to me at least so if you see this over here for structural analysis this is as per clause number 6.4.3.1 so as per this particular clause you will see that the structural analysis the moment uh, of inertia shall be taken it as this is 70 percentage for the columns and 35 percentage i gross of the beams that's all there is no further information available i would say that you know if i am the user actually i would say what the hell is this okay why because the information is not that precise it is having a lot of issues and the problems and all actually so why because it is in the structure it is, is it only the column is existing and the beams is existing now where is the slab where is the where are the walls structural walls so there is there is no criteria there is no room for that this is for steel structures so this basically the b point is not relevant so when you deal with is 1893 2016 it is just saying that there is a beams and there are columns do the stiffness modification factor 35 percent and 50 percent uh, 70 percent and do the analysis so that is not the right way honestly speaking so how to deal all this actually so that's the reason uh, you know the latest code has come so which is the latest code is16700 that's the latest code so if you see that this is the code having comparatively very good information so i would say that this code is a savior for many structural engineers so this is as per the table number six okay so what this table is asking you to consider this is as per clause number 7.2 so slabs is having 35 percentage you can crack up to the 35 percentage of this 0.35 what is ig ig is the gross moment of inertia so that is getting reduced not by 35 percent reduced to 35 percent if you take the in e tabs actually you will see the values which is just one 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 in all the cases you are going to do that with the 35 percentage means 0.35 will be done what does that mean how do you deal with that in the in the software so let's see that also so that you will get to know certain things so if you go to the e tabs i'll just go to the same model this is i'll just go to the value engineering model which is little bit uh, further model and we have changed it um, if you remember yesterday we have seen the value engineering means you will do i have just done the one iterations and i gave you the complete guideline how you can go to the further iterations so i'm sure most of you might have gone through that uh, if you got any issues or problems you can ask uh, ask us anytime so in this particular model when you open where is the stiffness modification factor this is there are two methods actually of defining the stiffness modification factor what are the two methods 
the two methods are primarily one is in the definition and another one is in the allotment okay so definition means what you will go to the define menu you will go to the define and you, in the define menu you will add slab as 0.35 or 0.5 beams as 0.5 and in the definition only you all columns as let's say 0.7 walls as 0.7 and then you add all these elements over here so in the definition only you crack it down you reduce the ig okay see we are going to study this topic in different i mean i'll just show you the application orientation model orientation fundamental orientation there are many orientations are there this is like how to do that that orientation okay so there are two methods one is through the define and another one is select you go to the select select then you select the object type then you select let's say walls and once the, all the walls are selected then you apply the same stiffness modification factor so there are two methods please use either first method or big or okay you use second method do not use both the methods do not use both the methods is that clear now the next one is we will see both the methods slowly how to do that see the first method is you go to the define and you one by one you go to the element and you start modifying the property how to add do, you know change the stiffness modification factor you need to change it from modify and you will change these figures now for doing that we need to unlock the model as you know already so i'll just say cancel 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 i'll unlock the model okay and then you know that these things you can change it from here also so let's say for column i'll double click it and i'll go to the modify and then you know i'll change the parameter Let, let's say for example this is points 7 0 0.7 0 0.7 generally the torsion value we don't change it unless and until it is required so you will be having the moment of inertia in two direction and in the three directions you will be changing it to 0 0.7 when it is color so this is how actually if it is beam then you will change it something else if it is slab slab you cannot change it with like this so slab you need to change it from let's say for example i'll just modify that back to one in the walls let's say you want to change the walls now so in the walls also you are having stiffness modification factor so you are having stiffness modification factor which is f11 f22 f12 and then m11 m22 m12 oops no, there is no ig here which is mom, you know grass moment of inertia which that is given in the code this one is ig you want to change ig ag sorry AG is actually the uh, area, gross inner uh, area and IG is the moment of inertia. So where is AG or where is IG? There is no AG, no IG. Uh, there is only M11, F11, F22, F12, M11, M22, M12. Whereas if you go to the line elements, you are having IG in two direction and IG in three direction, which is uh, you know the moment of inertia in that particular direction so as a structural engineer it is given in the code book 
it is given in the code book all right so you cannot say i don't want to use it what the hell is this come on don't do that <laughs> this has become a law okay so you have to use it now somebody will say sir it is there in is 16700 where it is there in is 1893 it is there just now i showed you it is given in a thin line in single line but it's there okay so every project you must do it that's why we generally don't teach all these concepts in the basic workshop why because it will become very heavy workshop i mean it will be very difficult for you to digest also many times now reducing stiffness will increase the steel or will reduce the steel anybody you can unmute yourself if you want to talk yes reduce it increase the steel increase the steel increase the steel if you reduce yes, the sir. the moment steel, of yes. inertia steel will be increased steel will be increased yes yes sir yes anybody else are we reducing the stiffness in the design or in the analysis Analysis. In the design. Analysis. In the design. Analysis. No, not in design. Sir, it is there only in the analysis. Sir, sir, in video you have told only for in analysis, but yes. we, in, we are doing in design also. We are doing in design also. Yes, are we sir. really? We are yes, not doing no, that in design. No, no, sir. No, sir. No, sir. We so, are doing so, only. Design. This is analysis, my dear. If you go to the design. the same section actually if you go to the design and all actually there is no nothing we are not reducing any stiffness there is no stiffness modification factor you can give in the design dialog box at all if you go here whatever the sizes of the columns are there whatever the cover and everything is there that will be there so let's say you go to the shear walls for example okay and you go want to go to the preferences so you will give here the uh, different options where is the stiffness modification factor here there is no stiffness modification factor at all so we are designing in a strength model that is what i am saying even let's say for example if i save as this and i gave i just typed here as a strength okay i'll just type it here as a strength model so by typing here it wouldn't become strength model right what you need to do is you need to give the stiffness modification factors for all these areas so this particular section is there in uh, whatever smf that you are doing is only in the analysis now let me tell you because it might be confusing to some of you So I'll just double click any particular column to help you to understand what I'm saying. So if you go to this, this is the section. Are we reducing this into point three five? Yes. We don't do that, no, right? No. This is five hundred by eight hundred only. But this is there in the stiffness modification factor. in the design same depth and the width will be taken by the program this will be there for analysis this is very very important it is not for design this is there for analysis it is not considering any design criteria somebody will say sir analysis means design also no if you go to the this option there is no stiffness modification factor you are giving here it is the same element will be taken here this sizes these sizes only will be taken based on the cover so it is purely for the analysis correct this is purely for the analysis if if you reduce this by default it is 1111 means fully uncracked correct fully uncracked section 
द मोमेंट यू गिव सर्टन स्टिफनेस मॉडिफिकेशन फैक्टर मीन्स लेट से दिस कॉलम वॉट विल हैपन इट विल गेट क्रैक्ड ओके लेट से आई एम अ कॉलम इफ आई एम ट्राइंग टू बेंड इट लाइक दिस आई गेट क्रैक्ट ऊप्स so that much amount of force i will transfer it to someone someone else are you getting what i'm saying okay yes, so sir. this particular phenomenon you have you heard about the moment distribution method or redistribution factor moment redistribution 30% 33% yes yes, yes sir yes so what okay. we do is actually if there is a let's say for example if if for example there is a beam here like this we transfer certain bending moments from here to here and here to here if it is a continuous beam how do we transfer there is a some kind of mechanism based on the ei and to ei whatever the span and whatever the length and the con contribution will be there the bending moment would be transferred so the facility of this particular thing is actually known as the moment i mean moment redistribution right so if you think i want to tell you it is moment redistribution it is not the shear dis redistribution are you getting what i'm saying shear you cannot redistribute it the person only need to take it understood hmm why it, it it happens because shear is a sudden reaction it will be taken by the gravity you cannot redistribute that so whenever you are adding the moment the i mean the stiffness modification factor actually what is happening the the column in only in the analysis not in the design only in the analysis instead of 100% stiffness it will consider only 65% stiffness or uh, 3.7 70% stiffness because this one will be instead of 1 it will be 0.7 okay so instead of 100% it will be there only 70% so the forces that it will be attracting will be more or it will be less yes less it will be less understood but in the design it is again like that imagine that you can carry 100 kg on on your shoulders and on your head for example okay but you are declaring that i am i can carry only 70 kg <laughs> otherwise i'll fail down otherwise this will happen if you do like that then what will happen the forces will get distributed okay you take 70 i'll try to give this load to someone else correct that will happen yes or no yes okay yes sir so so please make sure that you are dealing with the stiffness modification factor means you are dealing with the moment distribution some what a little bit more moment is getting redistributed okay the moments will get redistributed the forces will be transformed to many different structures and it will be balanced by many different elements because nobody would like to collapse the structure so sometimes the steel will be higher sometimes the steel will be lighter there is no fixed rule that if you apply the stiffness modification factor everything will boost no it depends upon the building if it is actually loading elements uh, uh please mute your mic thank you if you are actually loading actual governing structures are there for example in that case it will be lighter why because the vertical force will be get uh, will be getting redistributed but if it is a bending governing structures then steel will be higher because the moment you re reduce the stiffness of this column 
it will start you know the bending of this element will be more axial force will be distributed okay this column is not taking transfer it to the shear wall transferring it to this shear wall due to the diaphragm action correct so based on that it will consider these parameters and factors i'm sure that you know some of you might be wondering what the hell is this this is the new topic altogether see believe me the understanding of stiffness modification factor would be comparatively difficult okay you need to start digesting it slowly okay you need to chew only certain things that you can digest okay uh, you should take some more time now what are the parameters so let's see that also okay i understood that these are certain things which are must we should do must so what are what is it that i need to do okay so first of all i would like to tell you that there are certain parameters which are for two two different models one model is unfactored load and another model is factored load means this model is for strength design this model is for service model service ability so whatever the parameters you are checking it here that will be for service model whatever the parameters you are checking it here that is for strength design model understood so it may not be that easy that oh my god again now there is some change so first of all you forget this area because it is 1111 don't worry about this area okay you need to focus only and only on these numbers and these numbers do you agree because these are changing okay now it's very simple actually don't get too much bugged up with this now the first one actually let's say for example this one this is slab slab is having in the service model slab is having how much 0.35 and in the strength design how much it is 0.25 understood now the in the beams it is 0.7 and here it is 0.35 now we are doing small changes in this i would say that i would dare to do that actually because i have seen the aci code ubc code ibc codes many other codes so we generally do small modifications in these three values what are what is the modification one is this is 0.5 and this is 11 how much is this this is 0.5 and these two values are 1 okay uh don't worry i'll i'll just show you in the notes also what we have done so that you know you will understand what i'm saying so if you go to let's say the notes it is clearly mentioned over here by me see here this is 0.5 this is 1 and 1 this is given by the code
this is given by the code okay and this is what I have tried to tell you that most of the international codes are having 0.511 why it is like that and some some of you might be thinking why it is like this so let's say for example uh, there is a logic also if 0.25 is becoming 0.35 so 0.35 will become how much you know the cross multiplication 0.25 ig is becoming 0.35 ig okay so 0.35 ig will become how much so let's say this is x x is equal to how much 0.35 into 0.35 divided by 0.25 correct how much is that value 0 0.49 oh, so it is coming 0 0.49 so it is closer to 0 0.5 that is the reason that this one is 0 0.5 which is given in the ACI code UBC code IBC code but only Indian code is saying please take 0 0.7 so same thing actually if we apply 0.25 ig it will become 0.35 ig or i would say reverse so 0.7 ig will become how much 0.35 x is equal to 0.7 multiplied by 0.35 so how much it is 0 0.98 which is closer to 1 are you getting what I am saying the reason of checking like this and somebody will say come on this is not given in the code or something like that you can tell him that you please refer other international codes also somebody will say you are code se bada ho gaya kya? you know like that also some people they are they will tell you so you can tell them that Bhaiya, come here I'll teach you that I'll teach you that if you go to the previous code just two years back correct no if you go to the Two years back code which is uh, one minute uh, Indian code IS1893 code huh? this is 2016 which is which has released in that year so it is saving 0 0.7 and 0 0.35 that's all no serviceability criteria no strength criteria nothing no slabs no shear walls nothing imagine that within a year certain structures actually start from foundation and fin they finish it off imagine that I have designed this structure and completed immediately new code has come oops no. and now the clauses have changed now what should happen I should be hanged why because I used I used the previous code and why the hell the code has changed because they identify there is there is something change there is a difference understood so the code is something which is not like a as I told you code is not a like a Bible it's not like a Quran or it's not like a Gita have you heard about currently Gita version 20 is coming have you heard about it huh? or maybe Bible 
फिफ्थ वर्जन लाइक एप्पल प्रो दैट आईपैड प्रो ट्वेल्व ट्वेल्व प्रो समथिंग लाइक दैट इट हज केम ना फ्यू डेज बैक सो लाइक दैट देर इज ए कुरान लाइक कोडर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वन हैज रिलीज इट डजेंट हैपन दैट वे राइट दैट्स वाई दे आर मोस्ट रिस्पेक्टेबल करेक्ट बट एज फर एज आर सिविल स्ट्रक्चरल इंजीनियरिंग इज कंसर्नड codes are changing this is 2017 2016 different you know based on you know human perception the code are changing so that's why maybe after one or two years they will understand that okay this has to be 0.5 and this has to be 1 so you better correct it now only okay <laughs> because in serviceability criteria earthquake and all it will not go to the 0.9 extent it is too much actually and the beams being a smaller dimensions to the depth and width it will not go to 0.7 it has to be 0.5 why because you need to crack it proportionately you cannot crack it disproportionately if you crack it disproportionately so many enormous results it will come okay now this is what actually i am saying okay some of my friends who are consultants in many top companies they are running many prestigious projects as a consultant not as a employee or something like that they say that sandeep nahi hum log india mein business karte hai jo abhi ka code hai uske hisab se jayenge so i'll leave it to you okay but i would suggest that you look forward that from where it this has come okay for that reason you can go to the previous codes and from where this particular code has come that also you can refer into some of you might be wondering that this code has been taken it from the chinese code do you know that hum log china se kab aise baat karne lage hai na but somehow it is like that people's republic of china J G J three two thousand ten technical specification of tall buildings. Ah, uh, the f in the formulation of this standard assistance has been derived from the following publications. So, if you want to understand this particular code, which is I S one three. Uh, One six seven double zero. It's a very very beautiful code, okay, drafted, and uh, it is much more better version than IS one eight nine three, the previous one. But to understand any particular code, you should know the roots of that code. So first root is J G J three two thousand and ten. Second root is ACI code three one eight, American uh, Con Concrete Institute. ACI is American Concrete Institute. Then AC code, AC seven two thousand ten. That is basically American Society of Civil Engineers. Then ASTM code and there is a Euro code. all these codes are helping this particular code to derive so if you are if you want to do phd in english you will be saying this is too much sir sometimes you will go to psychology sometimes you will go to english huh? but i want to give you certain references if you want to do phd in english english literature do you know they will ask you to study one more language which is latin i don't know if you know that you can ask some people because most of the latin words are infused inside the english do you know about it yeah so same thing i wanted to tell you over here that if you no want to know this code perfectly 
what's wrong in that in going through this course understood yeah recently this 2000 this one actually 2019 code has come and it has been added as a part of uh, digital library how many people have seen that anybody No, I am not asking digital library. I am asking ACI 318 code and 2019, which is latest. Hardly one month back, actually, it has been released. One or two months back. Mm -hmm. Okay. So please make sure that you keep an eye on this. Okay. That that's my nature, actually. Every day, every time, actually, I'll see that what better, what good things actually we can do for you guys. Okay, so keep that eye on. If you don't get it, please ask me. I will give you the links. It is there in the digital library. So, these are the roots. And this is why we need to go to those roots. Now, coming back to the same equation. So as per that table, I think uh, one minute, I think I have deleted that. Uh, yeah. As per table number six, we have to use this for different types of models. The first one is the. This one is the strength design model, and this one is the serviceability model. Strength design model means what? 1.5 dead plus 1.5 times earthquake. Hmm? 1.2 times dead plus 1.2 times live plus 1.2 times earthquake or wind. So that strength design combination. And another one will be serviceability model. So there will be totally there will be three types of models will be there. One is uncracked. Where is uncracked? You have not done anything cracking at all. So current model is uncracked only. Second thing is service cracked. And the third one is strength cracked. Sir, we are becoming cracked now. One model, a key model, both jada hota tha, abhi teen teen <laughs> Uh, but somehow we have to deal with this and I'm sure that over the period of time you will be also okay with that okay so what are what are the things are there here uncracked what you will check you will check modal studies you will check deflection criteria In the service actually, what you will check? Whatever the serviceability criteria are there, that you will check it over there. In the deflection, we generally take the creep analysis. The creep analysis is having certain deflection norms, so, which is already having the certain stiffness modification factor. That's why we are not util utilizing the service crack model. Otherwise, it would have been inside this. Okay, since the creep analysis, which we are going to use it from the CEBFIP code, that is the euro code that is already having this parameter that's why we are not using okay so modal analysis we need to check it from the uncracked model only why because you know the behavior of the structure you should understand before the earthquake incident so that you can give the proper value understood so these are few parameters which I wanted to tell you. So how do we start? How do we give that? So select all the columns and give all these parameters. Now there are, as I told you, there are two methods. What are the methods are there? I'll show you. I'll just 
just save as this model this is uncracked I'll just go to the service cracked So in the service crack, do you need to crack the columns and shear walls? No, that is already one one. So you need to crack only the beams and slabs. So how do you do that? You go to the beam, select, select object type. You select all the beams. So you can see that all the beams are selected. Then you go to the assign frames and there is a property modifier. All right. So you go to the property modifier and you give the value as let's say 0.5 and 0.5 okay now these are only for the beams please make sure that it is not applied to the columns okay so I think I have not I'll hide the walls so you will be applying this stiffness modification factor only for the beams you are not applying this for the columns so if you see columns there is nothing like that but if you see beams you see 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 so you do the stiffness modification factor from the this option that you go to the select select object type and then you assign it you do it here or or there is another method is you go to the beam property only double click it and go here and give the stiffness modification factor as 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 mm -hmm. so either you give it to the model directly to the model okay either you give directly to the model or you give it to the stiffness modification factor at, at the property definition do not give both the places otherwise 0 0.5 multiplied by 0 0.5 will happen understood so that is not the right way of definition understood so what are the parameters how exactly you are going to do now columns and beams i think you might have understood by now we'll just go to the area elements or the walls so for the walls I'll just show you the uh, the other parameters just a minute so for that I would suggest each one of you to write one table now only I don't know if you are having the notebook please write this table it's very very important table what is this all about one is the strength model another one is the service model so for slabs modify stiffness modification factor for strength model what are you going to do and for service model what are you going to do this is for slabs this is for flat slabs for slabs in the strength model you will be giving 0 0.25 0 0.25 0 0.25 in the service model you will give this as 0 0.35 0 0.35 0 0.35 what is this m11 m22 m12 out of plane bending not the in plane bending 
Understood. All other parameters are one, 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 unchanged. So for slabs, it is 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.25 for the strength model, for the service model 0.35. But for flat slab, it is like a beam. Flat slab will be acting like a beam. So that's why we are giving 0 0.35, 0 0.35, 0 0.35 and 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Understood? Now slabs and flat slab is over. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to upload the video. During that time, you can uh, you know, uh, write it down if you want. For the shear walls, we'll be applying 0 0.7, 0 0.7, 0 0.7. But all the other values will give 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1. There is a reason for that. Why? Because you will be designing the shear walls only for the in-plane bending moment. You don't use the shear wall for out-of-plane bending moment. For example, this is a slab, mouse pad, I'm considering it as a slab. So slab design is for this bending moment, do you agree? Slab design, we don't do this for this bending moment. This is in-plane, this is out-of-plane. This is in the plane. Understood, this is out of plane. Out to the plane is out of plane. So slabs on the top, we will be cracking only out of plane because we don't design only for in, in plane. There is no question of cracking to the in plane. So that's why it is one, 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 one. And only out of plane bending moments will be cracking. Whereas shear walls, this is a shear wall for example. In the shear walls, we design it for the in-plane bending moment. We don't design the shear wall for this bending moment. Do you agree? We design for M11, this bending moment. So that's why we are doing this 0 0.7, 0 0.7, 0 0.7. And then we give the <coughs> out-of-plane shear wall bending moment as 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1. Out-of-plane shear also we don't design. Are we designing the shear wall for out of plane punching shear? No, right? This is punch. This is this is for the shear wall, which is punching shear. V one three, V two three. This is I am talking about these two things. V one three and V two three is what out of plane punching shear. So that also we don't want. Slab is not designed for that. So we we crack that. So shear walls are like this. My one's walls like this. Why my one walls 0.7 and everywhere 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1? Because for my one walls you need only F11, vertical horizontal shear force. You don't need anything else. Do you want to design my one wall to take vertical loads or oh, no no? Because there is a beam also. My one wall will have only one one single uh, mesh. Single mesh. What do you mean by that? If this is a my one wall, you will give only one mesh like this. This is a my one wall. I hope you can visualize this. I'll put the gray color. This is a wall. Uh, and you pro provide the reinforcement inside this single mesh so it, it will not take out of plane bending it will not have bending action this way it is very difficult so we crack it so if you don't want this you why don't you give zero here ah that's the catch you give at least 10 percentage credit to the stiffness that you are allocating. Now who has said this? Now this is my personal judgment, okay? Some people might be saying this might not be correct or something. But from Dubai for almost 20 years of earning experience, it's not all banda hai. Correct? Point one, 10 percentage credit. Otherwise you are designing too much heavy unnecessarily and unnecessarily.
understood so this is what actually it is So my one wall is this. Now we'll go to the another one. Transfer girder. Transfer girder. You will not give any stiffness modification factor anywhere. Why? Because you don't want that to get cracked. No distribution. Pura lello. There is no chance of cracking only. There is no allowance for the redistribution. Pura lena hai. Crack करो फिर उसके लिए I for that I'll design it. So for transfer girder is is always one 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 everywhere. For service also, for strength also. Understood. Now coming to the beams and columns. Now this is for the beams and columns. So the beams and columns, you will say that this is point five, point three five, point three five. This is point five, point five for for beams and for columns. It is point seven, point seven here for the strength and for service. It is one one. Okay. So this is what actually the fundamentals of the stiff. I mean the operational level of the stiffness modification factor. Okay, we are not gone into the fundamentals. We are not gone into the theory. We are not gone into the certain practical examples. So we'll do that. Okay. Um, after you know certain time, so you use these parameters for you know your day-to-day -day projects. What you need to do is just save as the copy. Copy that file. Whatever the current folders are, the models are there. You give the title as uncracked. You, you since you have done the model analysis and all over there, so you use that. Once it is done, actually you copy that file as a separate file. One is uh, the service cracked, and the another one is strength design. In both the cases, you need to do the scaling factor. Please understand that scale factor is to be changed in all the three areas. Understood because the moment the maximum cracking has happened, actually reduce the time period will get increased, and automatically the base shear also will change. Static base shear remains same, the dynamic base shear will change. So automatically, you know, your scale factor will change. Understood? Any doubts? Anything? i am i'm not declaring that you know the stiffness modification factor is finished i'm just saying that the first phase that actually how you are going to use it that just i have shown you i have not taken any of the practical example which you are going to do whatever the example i'm going to give you tomorrow uh, tomorrow means on the coming monday you will be using all these parameters understood and after using all these parameters you will be started using it for the uh, strength design also and for service ability also okay uh, can you put hello, your sir. cameras on thank you any questions yeah, hello sir yes uh, sir, uh, sir it will not matter if we do design in any of the three sides no 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 strength design only <laughs> you have to design it only in the strength design if there is an yeah. earthquake load case you are applying you have to use the strength design only if you are using it for dead load 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 analysis it doesn't matter because it is not given in is 456 it is given in is 1893 and it is given in is 1 uh, which is tall story building okay. so you have to use it for the all the models which are having the earthquake load case And if you go to zone 3, all the buildings you need to design it for earthquake anyway. Only in the zone 2 for small small buildings you can skip. But for zone 4, zone 5 it is mandate. But zone 3 also nowadays the people are saying that you have to go for earthquake engineering. For in, any small G plus 3, G plus 4 structure also. 
So if you go that actually that that road, you will apply the stiffness modification factor for all the types of buildings, RCC buildings. Is the stiffness modification factor is applicable for steel buildings? Yes, Amit Shah. Yes, sir. Yeah. I don't know, sir. Hmm, what is the logic? Yes, Nishant. So we cannot apply in steel building because we don't consider cracks in steel yes. building. Yes. So in the steel building, there is no question about the stiffness modification factor at all. So in the steel buildings, we will not be giving it. Sir, one question, sir. Yes. Can we scale the scale the base shear before design? Yeah, you need to do the scaling in all the three areas. Sometimes the scaling will will not be proper, so you need to do rescaling. That continuous I, you need to keep it on that. Yeah. Okay. Hello, sir. Yes. Sir, what is the minimum criteria for applying the SMS? Minimum criteria? There is no minimum maximum criteria. You apply it or you don't apply it. You don't give halfway. There is no adai crack karo yaar, jada mat karo. No, it is not like that. You have to crack it. Earthquake slab is a big slab, right? Chota bacha yaar, chhod do. No, it doesn't. A choti building hai. Please. Uh, you cannot see Dharti Mata, please. Chota sa building. You can't do like that. It's a big slab to all the structures. You need to design it accordingly. So there is no chota mota. That is uniform all to all the structures. Yes, sir. But uh, you are explaining the you know, workshop video that the boost way is not uh, in the boost device the SMF is not applying. Yeah, I think this is very early to talk to those kind of structures. <laughs> okay, because that's actually loaded structures. Yeah. Okay, so if you remember just few minutes back, I told you one, one thing that if it is, if you apply the stiffness modification factor, the design will be way more heavy or if you don't apply, it will be more heavy. So I, I told you the answer that if it is actually loading governing structures, okay, the forces will get distributed and the stiffness modification factor will be lighting the structure, it will be lighter. Yeah, so in yes. Burj Dubai, it is 156 story building boss. It is actually loaded. There is no bending action much. It is majorly the axial force. Vertical force is more predominant. So if you apply the stiffness modification factor, it will be lighter. Wow. So you need to crack the building to that extent to make it viable or workable. So that is the reason they have not applied. I have not seen the model, but the person who has designed to whom I have seen when I, he came to Dubai and you know during one of the incident I got a chance to talk to him so he said that we have not applied any SMF why because he if he applies actually certain columns are lighter why he will apply always play safe that's the rule right so, uh, if the building gets collapsed in Delo Lailod for example something happens the shake will put a gun on talk finished Sir, I have not applied SMA. We can't do like that. <laughs> huh? So always play safe. That's the rule. Unwritten rule in the code. Correct? Sure. Yes. So in strength model, when we are giving SMF, we are reducing the strength of basically almost every member, beams, columns, slabs. But the forces acting on the building will be same only. Then sir, yes. how will it get redistributed if all the members are made weaker? How the forces mean? Sati hata badao. Like that it happens. Every no, project, yeah, every structure actually will try to, uh, you know, reduce uh, or resist the forces, right? Anyway. Yes, sir. Yeah, every so, element will not, uh, will be helping to not to go to the entire failure zone so it will it will help you in the redistribution of the forces that's all okay. 
सो यू मीन टू से दैट सर सिक्सटी फाइव परसेंटेज तो आपने ही खा लिया सो वेर इज द अदर वी आर नॉट क्रैकिंग इट इन द डिजाइन दैट इज द होल पॉइंट यू आर मिसिंग सो लेट से ऑल ऑफ यू आर देयर आई गेव यू हंड्रेड प्रोजेक्ट हाँ सम नॉटिक सर मेरा कमर बहुत दुख रहा है सर सर मुझे कोरोना का लक्षण आ गया है सर सो so, छुट्टी ले लेंगे ठीक है अभी मंडे एवरीथिंग विल बी ब्लैक एंड व्हाइट बिकॉज फ्रॉम मंडे ऑनवर्ड्स देर इज ए यू नो विल बी पुटिंग ऑन टू द लाइव प्रोजेक्ट सो मे बी हाफ ऑफ द गाइज विल नॉट कम आई एम टेलिंग यू ऑफरेंट वाई बिकॉज अरे यार छोड़ो वो कुछ मालूम नहीं है आई कैन डू इट वाई बिकॉज सी यू नीड टू टेक अ जम्प इन साइड द वॉटर करेक्ट नो इन ऑर्डर टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू स्विम इन द वॉटर You cannot just say the theory is you need to do like this, okay? With this angle, with this ma- magnitude, uh, you do the calculations. With that, you can't learn swimming. So, हम लोग क्या करते हैं आप लोग सब लोग उनको पकड़ते हैं पानी में फेंक देते हैं. So we are going to do that on Monday. Okay. So some of you guys will say that sir, अभी नहीं आज ठंडी लग रहा है like that it will happen. Okay. So the similar way. what we do it with the structure also we give all the cracking all the elements cracked and all actually so certain elements which are taking more bending more action actually we strengthen that so during the event of earthquake it doesn't get further cracked okay understood quite a weird example la huh? <laughs> no, no. sir ha ah. Sir, is it like uh, the which uh, frame members is uh, actually governing? So the uh, bending governing frame will transfer the force to actual governing while we applying the SMF. Uh, to certain extent, when uh, I would say reverse, it will happen. The actual governing will transfer the force to the bending governing. Yeah. it's because already we can because, uh, because you are changing f11 f22 f12 in plane forces you are changing f22 is the vertical force in the shear walls in the columns ig main uh, uh, i mean um, ig three direction and two direction so those kind of elements we are cracking so it will be from the axial forces to the bending action so that's why it is a benefit is bending governing structure it will be even further you know it will trigger the bending more so steel will be little bit more and uh, one more thing is sir uh, why we don't apply smf in case of column in service model uh, actually uh, because it's a serviceability right it's a serviceability criteria so during the serviceability criteria we should not be applying Is so model technical? model you want the structure to be more uh, I mean like the serviceability insurance should come during the event of uncracked model. Are you designing the structure for earthquake proof? That is the question you are asking. So I want to utilize the building on after earthquake also. If that is the situation, then it is a different ball game altogether. it is earthquake resistance am i right yes it's not earthquake proof so d- during the event of earthquake only one thing would be there that you know your life should not go on stick that is the criteria that we take care we don't ensure that the buildings will not fall there will not be any cracks so serviceability is a cracking so we don't work on that front actually so that's why we we generally give the stiffness modification factor based on that but in the strength design we give the cracking fully so that it doesn't fall down even if that much amount of cracking will happen okay. so that much amount of redistribution of forces the total amount of forces are happening in such a way that even if that worst situation happens even if the building goes like this it will not fall down uh, the people will be coming and going down somewhere it will be resisting that much amount of cracking bending action so we design it for that but we don't ensure the serviceability during that extent okay 
Yes, sir. Hello, sir. Yes. Uh, should we need to crack a transfer slab? No. We don't. We, we don't do because there is no. I mean, alternative path. It's a load path actually. We are changing, so we don't crack it. We should not be cracking. If somebody is doing that, that's incorrect. Okay, sir. Good afternoon. Okay. Sir. Good afternoon. Sir, in ETAF's model, if we are cracking with stiffness modification factor and doing the design and signal same structure, if we are not cracking and we are doing design, the design result will be same. No, it will not be same. If the analysis results are not same, how to come the design results will be same? No way. Sir, it is but sir, in the stiffness modification, it is written for analysis part. What? When we are doing giving the stiffness modifier, it is written for analysis. Ah, Which so but that results of the analysis, you should be taking it for designing. Okay. The ETABS is saying that this is only for analysis, but the analysis same results you need to take it for design. For designing, you are not reducing the size; it is the same size. No, same That's size. That's what I'm saying. Size Abhi is same. Sir, Abhishek, sir. right? Yes, sir. So Abhishek, you can carry hundred kg on your, you know, head for exact much yes, amount sir. of weight you can carry, but you are declaring <laughs> that you know I can carry only seventy kg. Yes, sir. So the other be... weights will be distributed to other people. Sir, if beam and columns, it section is same, and if we are giving the stiffness modifiers. So while while at, after after giving the load, you will be acting like you know hundred kg only you are taking, right? You are not. We are not reducing the stiffness of the strength. If it is vice versa, it is different. See, so let's say for example, your capacity is only taking carrying is a hundred seventy kg. We are giving hundred kg on your your head, and then we are asking you you, you start walking and moving a trek. Then it will be a horrifying situation. Am I right? Yes, sir. But that is not the situation. We are giving you seventy kg uh, load. Actually, by considering that even if your capacity is there hundred kg for take, carrying it out, we are reducing that stiffness in the analysis while performing. Means actually in the uh, form of designing, we are making it sure that it is hundred percent only. So we are leveraging that kind of capacity. We are restoring that kind of capacity as a part of, you know, the global stiffness. I would say. So then we are designing in strength model. Hmm. Strength model, there is stiffness modification. We are applying one three five and point five and all. Then it is cracked. No, yeah, it is cracked. Sir, you told that. But not in the design. In uncracked model. Not in the design. In the design, we are not cracking it. Sir, it is little confusing. Ah, uh, it is. I know that it's confusing. So it, it that's why we generally help you to uh, you know work on the actual project so that it is it will be easier for you. See, it is hundred and one percent confusing. I think if you are not read my uh, uh, if you are not heard my uh, advanced it as workshop uh, sessions. Please go through that also during this Saturday Sunday, so that it will be a little bit more easier. You will feel a little bit more easier. Yes, sir, I have gone through it. Okay, and one more thing is I would like to tell you that you can do a small small prototype models, which is for uncracked, uh, service cracked, strength cracked, and then you can see that what are the effects are there and see the behavior of the structure. That would definitely help you out. It is confusing. I do agree that it has came in two thousand seventeenth code, means hardly just two three years down the line. Uh, early, it is not like twenty years back concepts. Okay, so in India, not only you as an Abhishek, but so many consultants are still figuring it out what to do with this. Hello, sir. Yes. 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 Hello, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, sir, we are not using uh, SMF into the safe uh, because of there is no uh, cracking is happening. So, can we use uh, no, this? No, let's let's so not call that actually. <laughs> okay, superstructure, substructure. If you make khichdi, no, nobody will understand what what is the concept. 
you first understand the superstructure first then we will enter into the safe and all actually it is i know that what you are talking about okay yes. when you go to the safe if you if you apply the cracked stiffness modification factor then you don't need to do that why because depending upon the bending it will get automatically cracked so that is a different theory once first you know other guys since you are a little older batch person actually i know that uh, you will be having such kind of doubts but uh, you know we'll take that aspects a little later on maybe uh, after one week time okay. see i'm not declaring that it is over okay it has just started began okay the discussion is still on we'll take the sessions the similar amount of sessions actually maybe other couple of sessions are required for uh, stiffness modification factor but i want you to experience it on the live project is that okay you use it for two projects one is for g plus 43 okay and you use it for another project which we are going to start it from monday is that fine so at least in the next week you will come to know what the hell is this see it is a very different injection please understand that which will change the entire stiffness matrix it is not a small thing you are cracking the stiffness to the level of 0.35 0.25 I mean 75 percentage of the stiffness you are just cutting it off it is not a small injection it's a very big thing okay so it takes a lot of time for anybody to digest if the injection is so big do you agree and i am allowing that particular time at least you take one week time you use both the projects on this and we'll see you on next next to next monday is that okay yes. on monday yes, you'll sir. be working on one of the live projects yes, which is uh, uh, will be giving it to you on monday morning okay so we'll di divide the certain batches and you'll start working directly in the gen general meetings you should come okay from morning to evening we'll start working on that okay sir uh, sir what time monday morning yeah 10 o'clock 9:55 okay, our office starts okay sir sir yes uh, is it like uh, when we apply smf and the whatever the result we will get on the basis of those result analysis result uh, see sometimes will... you know what happens actually it, uh, anesthesia certain things you give a injection see the person's behavior uh, then you take a call we 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 generally do like that okay so similarly you give the stiffness modification factor to the actual run time building see the behavior by yourself nobody is constructing a building there say in the case of let's say corona vaccine or anesthesia you really need to take care of the patient you should not die correct but here not nobody is dying nobody is constructing your project and it is falling it down you will apply those factors and you will understand what's the behavior change okay and then we will talk this is a very big topic actually which we have started and i'm sure that you will understand within one week you will you will get to know about certain maturity i'm not saying within one week you will understand 100% okay but after one week actually you will get to know that what i am saying at least otherwise it will be very difficult situation even like if you take another 5 hour session actually that will be meaningless because you don't know what's the drill what's happening is that okay okay sir and already this one hour session you will be getting which i am going to record and send it to you before end of today and the second one is actually you already have I'll at least uh, two days videos which are it has workshop uh, advanced workshop videos i think you are having enough material to start working with the two projects at the primitive stage i'm not saying the final stage is that okay okay sir yeah okay sir one yes, more sir. thing uh, what yes. we check in service and uh, strength model as you told the uncracked model we check a uh, model analysis yes what we check in service and strength yeah so that's what actually serviceability checks will do it in the service design like say vibrations and all that that those topics also i have not taken so far let's say vibration analysis i have not started that okay that is also there in the itabs advanced workshop okay so if you want to find out actually those kind of areas you can go deeper into those uh, workshop videos which okay. i am going to anyway take it after you know when we complete this smf because after 
doing the SMF only if you are going for those areas that is more beneficial to talk about. Let's say creep analysis, when you are going to do this analysis, vibration analysis, when you are going to do buckling analysis, when you are going to do uh, that these are advanced levels, so those are further injections are there actually. So let's not use all the injections together. Huh? <laughs> okay, sir. Thank you. But if you are more curious, you can go to those workshops and find it out. And use it. And uh, maybe on next to next Monday, you can we can have that kind of debate. Where we are going to drill this topic a little further more. Okay, sir. Okay. Yes, Is it fine, Thank everybody? You. Are you enjoying? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So, so before we okay. end this session, I would like to tell you that you can come to the main session, which is uh, you know the general meeting session. Try to give the see the first model is ready. I'm sure that you might have worked on the value engineering exercise. If you are not worked, please work on that. Okay, please download the video. Work on that. Once you have finished that, you copy the same file to other two files. Once the modal analysis is over, one is service crack and another one is strength crack, correct? And you give this this SMF parameters over there, and then you know you can go further for the further design aspects. Is that okay? Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. All right. So thank you very much, and all thank the best you, for the next week. Uh, you know, uh, event also. All right. Thank, thank you so much. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye, sir. Thank you, sir.